Hey guys, Yimmy here. I um, want to do a, uh, a follow-up so to the previous video I uploaded regarding the, uh, the Asus G531 GT laptop I had purchased. Um, I actually ended up exchanging it because there's a sale on the, at, at Best Buy. Um, it was on sale for a thousand bucks. The GA502D model, the Sephiroth G by Asus as well. Um, now I like the previous model I had purchased, but I wanted to do an exchange because it's basically, it was a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars more um, after sale. Right now the, the G531 GT is back off of sale. It's at a thousand dollars. And this one on sale was a thousand dollars as well. So I figured I would exchange it because this Sephiroth G model actually has the 120 Hertz uh, panel that the G531 didn't have as well in the previous video that I unboxed. Um, so I returned that because this um, Zephyrus G, it's the GA502, it has the 120 Hertz panel and it includes the 1660 Ti um, Max-Q, which I'll be able to get a lot faster frame rates when I'm gaming and it has the 120 Hertz uh, panel so it'll look better. The only thing that I'm not too sure, oh, it also has 16 gigs of RAM versus the eight gigs of RAM that the other one had. And if I upgraded the RAM, then I'd be it'd basically be the same price for both of them. Um, so I'm gonna be unboxing it here in this video. Um, the reason I exchanged it is like I said, it's this is an, a lighter laptop and the battery is gonna last twice as much um, so the other one was rated for four hours of battery life and this, um, this laptop's rated for eight hours of battery life along with it being lighter and slimmer and the faster, uh, faster refresh rate on the panel. Um, I don't know what else I had. Oh, this actually has a USB type C port that the other one didn't have as well. Um, I can't remember what else it had. Uh, I'm trying to look at this bad boy. Um, it oh that's the other difference too. This one it has a better process, better like graphics card, but it does have uh, AMD processor with an NVIDIA graphics card. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out together. Um, it's the Ryzen second generation. Um, it's the what's the Ryzen uh, 3750 R7 3750. So. Um, Let's, uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. So I'll show you guys how the box looks a little bit. It's very similar to the last one I unboxed. Um, so hopefully I'll be keeping this one for good. Um, should be good. I mean, it's gonna be lighter. I think it'll be a lot more sleeker looking and with the uh, it being basically almost the same price, I'll, I'll post the, the, the link where I got it from at Best Buy and you can compare it to the unboxing that I did in the previous one. So you can check out the specs and the prices. Um, but yeah, this is going to give me at least, I think at least double the frame rates and I'm really excited for the, for the refresh rate of the panel as well. So, um, yeah, I just got this today. I exchanged it. Um, I wasn't, oh, I opened it the wrong way. I wasn't planning on getting this, but because it was on, I noticed it was on sale for $200 off today. This is typically $1,200 and it was on sale for a thousand. Um, so figured I might as well do it. So, so this is the unboxing here. Um, so you see it says, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it well with the light right here, but it, it says Asus, um, what does it say? Republic's, Republic of Gamers right here, ROG. Um, so let's take a look at this. This is the same size 15.6 inch laptop. Oh, it already feels a lot slimmer, a lot lighter. Um, and actually this back logo right here is light up. It actually lights up. So um, let me take off this plastic and then I'll sh try to show you it. Maybe I'll actually be able to review this one a little bit more in depth. Um, the Ryzen 7 though, it is a four core, eight thread versus the i7 that was in the G531. But I think the graphics card is more important for me because I, I'm more of a competitive gamer and I like to have better frames. Um, oh, this already feels light. It feels light and it feels a lot more, um, uh, it feels nice. 
Um, yeah, so you can see right here how like this kind of like hollow, so it's gonna be a light up ASUS logo. So I'll light it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, again, it, it does feel a lot thinner. Um, let me go over the ports. So here on the left hand side, we have a um, DCIN ethernet cable, um, HDMI cable, one USB and a USB type C along with a headphone jack. This is on this side. And on this side, we have two more, um, two more USBs, a Kensington lock. Um, so yeah, so totally we have, uh, we have three total USB type A and one USB type C. Um, let's go ahead and open this. Oh man. Um, so it has the, uh, when you open it, it has the uh, protective paper here. Um, I don't know if you could see it here, but you can see that it has the Ryzen 7 along with the GTX logo. Uh, little sticker at the bottom, so it's like a common, it uses both. Um, let's go ahead and power it up. Oh, we got the baby crying in the background. We might need a, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, I guess it doesn't come with a, with battery out of the box. Um, I tried pushing it, so it's not gonna light up right now. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, maybe I'll do a, a startup video. Um, let me see if I, I'll, uh, let, let's go with, with what's rest in the box here. Um, so if you lift up this part, we got a, a little box with uh, instruction manuals and warranty, warranty information, but I don't really want to read that right now. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, let's check out the power, the power cable. Hopefully it's not a huge adapter. Oh, wow, not too much going on here. That's kind of cool. Oh. We have the power, the, the electrical cable that goes into the wall. And the, um, the power brick. So the power brick's actually pretty small. It's about the size of a, of a power bank, I guess. Um, it's a 50 to 60 hertz, 200 to 244 amps. Um, I don't know, it says the output. It's, it's not too, nothing too big. I mean, you guys can compare it to my hands. It's not gonna be huge. It's definitely not too heavy to, to be carrying around or anything. Um, so we have that, and then we have the, uh, the, you know, you plug it in so you can plug it into the wall. It actually looks pretty long, so you might not have to get an extension cable or something. Um, it looks pretty long. Um, again, um, I'll try to, I'm going to charge this bad boy up a little bit so I can um, show you guys how the logo looks when you light it up and it starts up and everything. Um, again. Um, it's on sale at Best Buy. I don't know if I'm going to upload this video and um, it's Friday night and I'm assuming that the, the sale is going to be going on through Sunday. It's $200 off. Um, but yeah, but I, I think this might be a better option, especially for, you know, like graphical graphics performance. And I don't think um, Ryzen chips are that bad, especially the second gen from what I've been hearing are, are pretty good processors. So um, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, please make sure to like and subscribe, um, and then stay tuned for any upcoming content that I have regarding this computer, perhaps, or perhaps a review, or, um, you know, just video streaming. Um, but yeah, thank you. All right, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to do the, uh, give it a little bit of power so that I could uh, show you guys the startup, how the logo looks and everything sounds and then like my initial reaction to it being started up so um let's see it's connected right now um and then i'm gonna start it up and let's see how the logo looks in the back so we'll take a look at the logo maybe right after so let's see and actually initial reactions is you know, so the logo is going to be, yep, it's red, a little light up. This looks like there's not, you know, there's not a lot of flex on this. Uh, there is quite, there's a little bit, but there's really not, not too much flex. So it's actually got a really good solid uh, 
um, chassis, I would say. The, the screen, uh, a little bit of flex, but it's not, it, it takes a little bit of pressure to, to put the flex into it. Um, Hi there, I'm Cortana. So this is the beginning. So we don't, a little sign in we don't here, need to, a touch of Wi -Fi there, we don't need to we'll worry about PC ready these for people all right now. Let's turn it down. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to show you guys. The keyboard is RGB. Right now it's just white, I'm assuming, because that's how it is by default when it starts up. Um, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments and I will answer them as they come in. At, uh, as soon as I read them, you know, questions regarding this or anything. Um, again, I want to show you guys the back of the logo so you guys can see that bad boy. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys.